by the way, contains malicious defamation of my character. You don't deserve any greater freedom of speech than you would grant to others. You yeah, like I said, you know, it's exactly. I grant others the right to do exactly what I just did. All right, I fairly and contextually left your remarks as they were, and I responded to them. I did not paint a Hitler mustache on them. I did not dress them in a dress. I did not pervert them or distort them in any motherfucking way. So fuck you, you lose the argument. Stinking, whiny, chicken shit, cowardly little cockroach. <sighs> yeah, whatever. You're, a, here, you're a big, fat cockroach. You're so fucking such a big, fat cockroach that you can't even, you can't use a video camera because there's no way. You can't open its, 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 uh, you can't dilate it enough to get your whole girth into the fucking image. I mean, all we could see is maybe some, some blobby molecules, okay? So, whatever. Uh, pfft, whatever. You lose. Video number two, coming up. Jones are here, and I have to ask the question, is there a single stupider idea anywhere on YouTube that the solution to mankind's problems is to simply leave all those problems behind and instead go live in a virtual world? Yeah, it's really stupid. It's kind of like video games and movies and, you know, all that kind of entertainment. That thing where you go to a theater and spend a couple hours losing your mind in, in a drama of some kind or in comedy or some other entertainment. Yes, that's stupider. Oh, no, that's not stupider. That's less stupid, but it's it's on the same stupider scale, correct? So all you people, stop being stupider. In, ter in terms of sheer stupidity, Gary and Mendham often makes Yoko look like Albert Einstein. Listen, everybody, we don't have to live in the world anymore. We can all live in a pretend world. There's no dirt in the virtual world, so everything is nice and clean. And all the plants and animals are made of plastic. Everything... Yeah, well, I'm the big, fat, uh, you know, Jozor maggot. And I don't want anybody to think that the world can be better because it's got to stay dirty and sloppy like this because then I can suck their blood and their guts because I'm the big, fat maggot. And so the people must stay in reality so I, must, so I can control them and suck their blood. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, what, wait, what's your fucking argument? We must leave the world as it is t today. But not with the way it was a hundred years ago, and not the way it will be in a hundred years from now. Just the way it is today. Does that satisfy as Jones are? It's wonderful and pretty all the time. And there's no suffering or pain or any icky things. And I can have a 12-inch penis with Christina Applegate's lips wrapped around it all day long. And I can grow wings and fly through the air. And I can be Adolf Hitler. Now, if I heard this kind of horse crap coming out of the mouth of an eight-year-old, I think it was imaginative and interesting. So mm, yeah, well, that's kind of a weird standard you have. <laughs> it depends on how old the person is that says something will somehow change whether it's a good or bad idea. <laughs> There's something wrong with that logic, fella. So why don't you make a rational argument? I mean, you did your little funny voice thing and, uh, you know, the, the, the silly, simple ridicule, but can you actually, um, you know, build a rational argument that says something like, well, look, nature is, uh, you know, slowly and progressively heading to some, uh, you know, sensible and beautiful perfection somewhere, and that consciousness is going to be rewarded for all the suffering that's gone on for billions of years. So, I mean, can you make some sort of rational argument that we're going somewhere, you dumb fuck? Or are you just going to be, oh yeah, that's right, Rid I forgot, I'm sorry, your videos are about ridicule, pointless, idiotic ridicule, my mistake, sorry, sorry. When it comes out of the mouth of someone who is almost an adult, like in Mendham, the word retarded comes to mind. Here he is making like 15 fucking videos a day on the subject of his phantasmagorical future. Yeah, that's because people are really stupid, you know? I mean, it really should only take one video. Like video, I think virtual reality number five, I mean, that one really should just do the job. But no, you gotta, you know, you gotta keep explaining it because some people just can't figure stuff out. You know, they need to hear it four or five or six or seven or eight or a hundred times before it just finally occurs to them. Oh, fuck, that's right. It's kind of like peak oil, you know what I mean? They just can't get it your world. And make no mistake, Inmendum is the biggest phantasmagoricalist on YouTube. And as we know, that term refers to, refers to someone who prefers to wallow in silly bullshit rather than facing reality. And yes, and you'll back that up with so much evidence, Mr. Jones, or you're always, you're always so, 
you know you're so specific and so exact I mean your this the, your your scalpel is just so unlike a dirty stinking club I mean it's just such a clean instrument you use it's so clean you're always clean clean logic clean straight rational lines you don't ever resort to some kind of stupid cartoon if there's one thing we all know about in Mendham, he will cling to bullshit rather than face facts every time. Do you hear anyone else trying to claim that virtual reality is a solution to man's problems, Gary? Uh, well, there's, yeah, there's other people made videos supporting the idea. There's going to be other people who have, you know, had the conversation and had nothing to say negative about it. So whatever, <laughs> whatever. Uh, well, why are you afraid of it? If I'm the only man, if I'm the lone man in the wilderness speaking of it, what, why are you so... What, what's, what's your need to even make a video about it? Do you really need to make a video to stop one lone man in 6.5 billion? You anything? Another thing that Gary believes is that human beings are no longer evolving. Evolution was working right up until it created in Mendham, and then it stopped having, you know, reached the pinnacle of achievement and all, there was just no reason for evolu evolution to go on, so it's stopped. Yeah, it's, it's, so you're going to make a rational argument that we're still evolving somehow, that natural selection is applying a, a, a force against us and applying us to, to meet some standard biologically or genetically to survive. I mean, obviously, the condom and modern medicine have changed the ball game. You want to say the ball game is the same as it was? Well, go ahead and say it, but it's not a truth okay it's bullshit it's stupid that's brilliant in Mendham yeah really great have any luck selling that idea Gary I didn't think so why not could it be because you're an idiot? Well, well let's let's speculate do you think Einstein would say we're still physically evolving would you think Darwin would say we're still physically and intellectually evolving that the basic capacities are evolving in some kind of progressive direction I don't think so I mean Darwin was a little bit upset when people started talking about birth control actually because he thought it would destroy natural selection you idiot idiot yeah I think that's it that's the ticket mm -hmm. Well, okay, so the end. So go ahead, DMCA, whatever, part three, two, whatever. I don't know how many parts this will take. But anyway, fuck you, Joneser. I'm suing you. You want to keep playing games? You want to keep just adding more evidence to the lawsuit? Fine. Keep it up. Thank you very much.